Yo, it's your boy Adam. What is going on then, guys? In today's video, I'm going to be building you the best 2.5 million coin squad builder on PlayStation. PlayStation prices, should I say? PC is probably a bit different. So is Xbox. But yeah, it should help you out whatever console you are on. This is our new road to glory. So we have two accounts, right? We are doing double weekend league this week because I do like absolute torture from FIFA. So this is around 150k. We are seven to one on foot champs on this account. And I will, what I'll show you right now is my main account, just so you get the idea of sort of the teams that I am running. This is our main account. It's a road to glory as well. But yeah, we've had this one since the start of FIFA. We have a remote control on the screen so you can see what we're pressing when we are playing. And yeah, we are streaming every single game on Twitch. The Twitch link is in the description below. But it's twitch.tv forward slash add one free so if you want to join us come and chill out see how we play lurk wherever it is then go there so what we're going to do right now is switch over to footbin because i'm going to show you the squad builder and we're going to go through the players one by one so let's just change the screen and we have got it here so we've got our blank canvas and then it is going to be 2.5 million coins and i'll show you two players at a time at one point it will be three players because they're the goalkeeper but yeah try and watch the whole video and drop a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you enjoy it because i will be explaining why i've chose those players and also the chemistry styles that i do recommend on them because i personally believe in chemistry styles i feel like they've been working for the last couple years maybe three four years ago before it showed the in-game stats then yeah it's a bit of a 50 50. all right so let's go let's not waste any more time we have got the first two, a lot of these players, you will see them all the time in weekend league. I'm not going to lie to you. But the whole point of this is I build you the most meta squad possible, right? I'm not trying to build you a unique squad. I'm trying to build you something that will, it will get you as many wins as possible where you know your team is solid. It comes down to you as a player. So we've got Mendy at left back and it's crazy how cheap these players are now with team of the year coming up. We've got Walker at right back and then we've got, we've got Nick Pope in goal A because the links and B because he's got safer feet trait and he's broken in game you can run him on a glove you can change your goalkeeper because it will work if you change your goalie as you will see but yeah this guy's just broken for me honestly but I actually have uh, Van der Sar on my main and Nick Pope on my on my new account but yeah Mendy I run him with a shadow gives an outright pace really good fullback and the same with Kyle Walker run him on a shadow 99 pace 99 pace that will help you defend against Neymar and Mbappe and that's how you're going to deal with those players right next up we're going to show you our two centre backs to go alongside them you're going to get who it is already try and guess come on it is Varane and Joe Gomez Joe Gomez is 15k now or 18k I bought him for 15k on our new account which is like it is absolutely insane and Varane is 169k so Joe Gomez genuinely I got rid of Varane and Mendy this week I use them last week on my main account and i actually didn't think joe gomez was any worse to be honest with you so yeah going for this back five is super solid you do not need to use the fingers with fifa 21 you do not need to put a million coins on your defense look for 264k this defense will literally square up to pretty much most defense on this whole game and like that's just insane to me. I feel like you need to spend your coins on attack. Attack where it is all at. And obviously midfield will help you as well in those jewels. But yeah, you're going to run double shadows on them. You can't opt for the anchors. But I personally believe you just need the pace. They don't really get barged off or bullied much anyway. So yeah, I'll just run the double shadow. Because pace is so difficult to come uh, to keep up with this year. And also free balls are so deadly. That's why pace is like even more important. Although like before FIFA 21 come out, they said pace ain't going to be that important. You're going to be able to use strikers on that slow, on that meta, blah 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 is it true no it's probably worse to be honest in fifa 20 next up we have got ronaldo sanchez and bruno Fernandes, as they keep telling me on, on fifa which is annoying the commentary but yeah we've got ronaldo sanchez right he is one of the best center mids on the game he's held his value for the whole time reason is his four star four star he has 93 a 93 pace with a shadow which is insane good mobility look at his dribbling he's strong aggressive decent defender stats with the shadow of course you get i think 10 or 15 interceptions and he can even he's even got decent shot power and long shots as well as a box to box player short passing and vision is okay but yeah run him on a shadow you want to give him as much pace and defending as possible and the same with bruno Fernandes. we're going to use him as a i can't stop saying that now bruno Fernandes. you're going to use him as a box to box center mid so this team will in my opinion i'd use it in a 4-2-3-1 you can use it in a 4-4-2 you can use it in anything that has a two-man midfield pretty much but yeah it's up to you if you want to run him on balance or him on balance or run them both on stay back while attacking but bruno fernandez with a shadow gives him more pace more defending if you think about it if we look at bruno fernandez's 88 version right it's only a plus one he's got one more pace one more dribbling one more uh, two more defending one more physical but it's a plus one overall and it's half a million coins so essentially this is not much different than that or that to be honest with you so it's similar to like a half a million coin player but yeah we're also using them for the links as you will see but double shadows on them so 
it's actually insane but i've told you to run a shadow on the back four and the two centimeters but that's how it's got to be and if you see the pros teams they do it on players they do it on players like adam atrari who has 96 pace where it don't make sense where you could use an anchor but yeah i can't really complain anyway it's up to them so yeah now we've got the next two players this is going to be our wingers right in game these will be the wingers so the lamb ram or left mid right mid wherever you want to play them we've got in form gucci headband for the links and also because he's five star four star and is absolutely insane i used him about three weeks ago and he was ridiculously good for me such a fun card to use five star skill moves this year so fun like i feel lost about it and then we've got marcus rashford because for 90 for under 100k he is the best player on the game the guy's absolutely insane and i definitely recommend them we're using them for the links as well we've got the french link there and then obviously we've got bruno fernandez strong link with marcus rashford but yeah that's how it's going to work as wingers up to you left mid or right mid whoever's got the most sort of curve or or a finesse shot trait i'm not sure if either of them do whoever's got the most curve i'll probably play on the left side so they can cut in and finesse it that's kind of what i do but if a player has a poor weak foot like three star or two star i always recommend that you keep them on their strong foot on the right side because Weak foot does also affect passing, not just shooting better, I mind. But yeah, now we're down to the last two players. And for me, when I when I thought of doing the 2.5 million squad builder, these were the first two players in the team. I felt like you need to get these two players in your team. And honestly, I build a 50k team around them. I don't care because they attack would seriously help you out, will build you out, will carry you through it. We have got Mbappe and Neymar. This is probably one of the most common teams you've ever seen. Possibly without Gucci headband, maybe a lot of people don't have Bruno Fernandes and maybe Renato Sanchez as well. But yeah, those, those three are what we're going to use. Kante was the alternative. If you were to do this differently, I would have probably done Kante instead of Bruno Fernandes and you probably would have had to get rid of uh, Renato Sanchez and yet yeah, do it slightly different than that. So you'd probably have to do something like Kante there, Bruno Fernandes there. I'll just show you, give an idea. So Kante will go right here if you want this to do it differently. But I feel like doing it the way that I'm saying it is going to be better. And then play um, St. Maximan on 7 Kim like that. But yeah, I do think Ronaldo Sanchez is better than Kante. And that is the reason that I do recommend him. So let's just switch it back to how we were. But yeah, Mbappe and Neymar, seriously, they're the players there that got me my first Elite 1 this year. When I got Neymar, he helped me get my first Elite 2 this year. They were the difference. Literally, I went from... One week I was Elite 3 and then next week we got Elite 1 once I had these two together. But yeah, that is it. I run Mbappe on a finisher. You can run him on a Hulk. You can run him on a finisher. You can run him on a Marks. Marks is probably the most common. I just felt like as a striker, I preferred him on a finisher. I don't really care about the strength. I just wanted him to be super mobile and be really deadly with his shots. I run Neymar on the Hunter just to be a pace fiend. So in game, I use Mbappe as a striker in a 4-2-3-1. And then Neymar as a cam in a 4 4 2. They're both the strikers, and there's those two are the wingers. But yeah, that is the squad builder. We're literally just over 2.5 million, give or take. But yeah, that is it. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, if you didn't want Nick Pope, then it's so easy to change it. You can just get Loris in goal. Or if you don't want him, you can get Allison in goal. And then if you do get Loris in goal, then you don't need a French player here for Varane's weak link. So you can change it up even more. But yeah, that is just some ideas. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to smash the thumbs up, subscribe to our channel if you did. And we see you on stream. Come and join us. It's been your boy, Liz. One more thing to say. Safe.